What is up guys, Steven Womack with another Instagram tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about Selena Gomez's look on Instagram. She's doing that Polaroid look a lot lately and you guys requested it and I want to show you how to create this look using only your smartphone, the free Lightroom app, the free Snapseed app, the free Navy app and an app called Overlay to really get that final touch and get that Polaroid frame around the picture. Now before we get started, let me tell you, I've created this preset for you so you don't have to toggle along to the whole tutorial. Just copy the settings and paste them to your picture. The link is under this video. It goes straight to my website where there's a filter pack and it also includes this Selena Gomez Lightroom filter. If you want to create it yourself though, we're going to get started right now. Before, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of my future tutorials. And check me out on Instagram at Stephen Womack. I'm super happy to hear from you. Um, send me DMs if there's anything I can do for you. If there's something uh, you want me to take a look at, I'll definitely do that. Or also just comment under this video. Now I've said enough, let's jump right into the tutorial. First of all, you will need your smartphone, of course. And then I want you to open up the Lightroom app. Now I've chosen this picture of a girl leaning on a bed, kind of like Selena Gomez does. And the first thing you want to do is hit that curve button up here and now just pull up the shadows to around the first line right there and then create a second spot and pull it back down almost all the way to right here so that we really blow those shadows. Now we're done here and for the rest of the exposure or the lighting settings what you want to do first of all pull down the exposure all the way to negative 0.58 is good and the contrast we want to boost that up all the way to plus 33 the highlights in this case we want to boost up as well all the way to plus 38 the shadows we want to pull down all the way to negative 57 the whites we want to boost up to plus 47 and the blacks we want to pull down all the way to negative 76 is good so we're done here with the lighting settings we move over to the color tab right here and what you want to do is pull down the temperature to negative 24 is good the tint we want to pull that down to negative let's say six is good and the vibrance we want to boost that up all the way to plus 45 and the saturation now we want to pull down all the way to negative 40 44 so we're done here we go up to the color mix tab and here you want to choose the orange tones first and we want to pull down the saturation all the way to negative six negative 76 right there and we go over to the yellow tones what you want to do is boost the hue all the way to plus 73 and the saturation you want to pull that down all the way to negative 85 now we go over to the blue tones right here and here we just want to pull down the saturation all the way to negative 55 now this picture is really desaturated but we're done here and we go over to the effects tab what you want to do here is hit that split toning button right there and now we want to pop the colors back in a little bit so for the highlights we pull over to a hue of around 59 60 and a saturation of 47 44 so it's 58 and a saturation of 44 which should work and for the shadows we pull the hue all the way over to a hue of 240 and a saturation of 26 so it's 240 26 and the balance we want to pull that down all the way to negative 32 now we're done here we got the colors pretty similar and now in the effects tab i want you Pull down the texture to negative 5, the clarity all the way to negative 
let's say 19. Dehaze, you want to pull that all the way to negative 15. And the vignette, and this is that black circle surrounding it a little bit. You want to pull that to negative 40, let's say 43 to really create that dark circle around it. And this looks really good on point so far, in my opinion. So we're done here. We want to export this, save to camera roll, maximum available. And now the next thing you want to do is go over and open that Snapseed app right here and choose this picture that we've just created right there. And now I want you to hit the tools button at the bottom and choose that lens blur on the bottom right side right there and now you scroll up on the screen and you see you can change you can go to transition and pull over to the left so it goes all the way to zero the vignette strength as well all the way to zero and now i want you to use both fingers and push that white circle around the blue dot all the way till it's gone and now pull that blue spot all the way to the left bottom corner and scroll on your screen and pull the blur strength a little bit further down to around plus eight is good and now we got we've got that blurry hazy look over the picture so we hit the check mark we're done here uh, we export this file save a copy and now we move on to the next uh, app we will need the navy app to get those vintage sprinkles and vi the vintage grain in there. So we open up the picture that we've just created right here and choose that B down there. It's that uh, black square with the white spots. We're gonna choose that. And now just pull down the intensity because it's a little too much to around here. And you can see those white spots in the picture that make it look uh, real vintage. And that's exactly what we want. So we're done here and we hit save. And now the last thing you want to do is get that Polaroid frame around there. And I've created a pack of frames for you guys that you can download on my website. The link is also under this video. And then you will be able to open a frame like this. It will be sent to you and you hit the three spots on the upper right and you select open in. And now this other app that we need is overlay. So you will choose it right here from that app list. It's that yellow square with the white circle. And now you can see that overlay has opened this, this Polaroid frame. Now what you want to do is hit image on the bottom left and choose the image that we've just created right here. And now you want to hit that layer button up here. So we hit that. And now the three stripes on the right side, you want to click it for that upper picture and just pull it under that Polaroid frame with the little squares. And then we go back down. And now you just want to increase the picture on the inside until there's no more of those squares in the background left. Position it to right there and hit the yellow check mark right here. Now we're done. We have added everything to the picture. Here's a before and after. And I think we got super close to that Selena Gomez look. We have the frame. We have the little uh, grain on the picture. We have the colors right. We have the fading blur. So it looks like a real Polaroid in my opinion. And this is as close as you can get right now uh, to a real Polaroid picture using your smartphone and those apps only. So I'm sure Selena Gomez uses real Polaroid cameras, but for you to create that look in a cheaper way and not having to spend money on a camera on those films, uh, this is how you can create it. Once again, the preset for this uh, picture, the Lightroom preset is in my preset pack. It's down here under this video in the link, check it out. Also the frame, that white Polaroid frame if you need it, is also um, in the link under this video. Have fun with this tutorial. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of my future tutorials. And of course, check me out on Instagram as well. Talk to me, send me DMs. If there's anything I can do for you, let me know. 
or also just let me know in the comments under this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm super grateful and I hope I'll see you next time. Peace.